Hey y'all, my beautiful peeps. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Give It Since 92, giving you guys the latest and exclusive content on your music, entertainment news, and inspirational quotes by me. The Queen's back. All right, so um, Zani released her new EP. It's called The Breakup. Um, so there are five tracks. I'm going to run down a list and discuss my favorite standout tracks and overall how I feel about the entire EP. So let's get popping as always, shall we? So um, number one, Game Over. Number two, One More Time featuring Van Hunter Easy. Number three, Love Song 18 dash interlude. Number four, All Grown Up. Number five, Crash and Burn. My favorite standout tracks from this EP are Game Over and Crash and Burn. So, Zonique has always been a talented musician. I like the EP. Um, it has a short track listing, which is fun. So, her production has like that R&B, soul, trap, hip-hop, like that Atlanta-based sound which I do like that music, that kind of music. But I feel that as I was listening to the music, I could really see from her lenses, her perspective. And I really enjoyed how she can sing. She has a very nice, sultry voice. She knows how to like really carry a tune through like her melodic. But at the same time, she has like that enigma, that mysticness. And I feel like even the breakup is pretty much from her personal experiences dealing with a toxic dude and you know she's just cleansing herself she's just moving on to bigger and better things so that's great um and i also feel like as i was listening to some of the records i feel that there should be more pop music in her artistry because really the breakup is like pretty much most of the tracks are like mid-tempo but at the same time, it has like that hard, heavy bass, like driven, that trap, R&B, like hip hop sound. So I feel that Zonique definitely found her sound. But I feel like Zonique, she's capable of pushing her sound to a different level. You know, she's capable of like making like, it's like she has that nostalgia. And I do enjoy the EP. I, I did enjoy it. It was really good. I kind of feel like the interlude was kind of like, I kind of feel like that was part of the like, interlude, but I kind of wish it was like a song to it. But I kind of feel that as Zani, you know, has her own sound and she has her own artistry, she definitely, like I said, has come to her own as an artist. I feel like she's pretty much underrated because really it takes a lot, you know, to really bring your A game. And especially, like I said, when, you know, you do your own artistry, and stuff like that. But Zonique has always been talented. Um, I feel like I feel like this is like a breakup EP, but at the same time, it's like listening to how her sound and the nostalgia that she has. I feel that she brings like a new sound to the table with like the pop influence. Believe me, she really will be doing a lot of great things with her artistry. And I feel like even a little bit, some of the records kind of felt like a little bit too too slow for my taste but i kind of feel that you know zonique pretty much has just stayed true to her sound which is good but i kind of feel like for this the breakup sound the breakup i'm kind of thinking like you know we have a little bit of that like those like songs are like heartbreak and stuff and like some up tempo like bring it all together but overall it's a pretty dope ep it's nice so that's good i was excited until you know i you know so i'm excited to hear her come back with new music. So I'm going to give this EP a three out of five. So with that being said, guys, Zonic fans, share your thoughts and your opinions. Stay tuned to the next episode of Since 92. Like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. As always, stay tuned to the next episode of Since 92, Dragon Ball Z Nary Reference. Oh, the art cover is beautiful. It's flawless. It brings like that sassiness, fierceness, beautiful. So I'm going to give this EP. Oh, yeah. I already rated it. So, guys, 
Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And as always, stay tuned to the next episode of Gibson Night 2, Dragon Ball Z Nary Reference. Peace. Bye-bye. Keep your guys asking out. The Super Saiyan's out.